Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. With the whole coronavirus thing going on, a lot of people are getting sick, so I figured I'd make a video on some things to eat in order to prevent sickness and stay healthy. So today we're going to be talking about green tea. First, I'm going to go over the various studies that found that green tea is a very good preventative medicine. Then I'm going to talk about why and how green tea is such a good medicine. And last, we'll go over how green tea relates to fruits and vegetables and how they also have the same effect that tea does. The studies that I'm going to go over all show that fruits, vegetables, and tea help to prevent viruses and diseases. So the bottom line here is that in order to prevent sickness, you should eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Now let's get into it. Tea has been thought of as a medicinal drink for thousands of years, and its use has been documented for medicinal purposes as early as 1906 in the U.S. However, there weren't really any studies to scientifically prove that green tea was an effective medicine for the longest time. Later, though, in 1980, they began to test green tea's medicinal abilities, and it opened up a pathway to many big discoveries about virus and disease prevention. So in that first study done in 1980, they started testing green tea by putting green tea ointment into little trays called petri dishes that had viruses on them and saw if the tea was able to kill the viruses. They found that the tea was actually very good at killing the viruses, but the problem was that killing viruses in a petri dish isn't really the same as in the human body. So they ran a bunch of other studies to see if it worked in humans too. The first study was on people who had genital warts, which is, called, which is a common and very infectious disease. And the researchers put green tea ointment on the warts and it worked very well. The green tea ointment was able to completely get rid of the warts in around 50% of the cases. This study helped show for the first time that green tea was a very strong medicine for humans, but there were even more studies done on this to further prove it. There are actually two more. In another study, researchers gave green tea every day to some healthcare workers and didn't give any to the others. After a certain amount of time, they found that those who drank the green tea got the flu three times less than those who didn't. Plus, they found that gargling green tea dropped the risk of getting the flu by seven or eight fold. This was a huge discovery. Green tea is extremely good for preventing infections and viruses. But why? Basically, green tea is good for preventing viruses because it boosts your immune system, which protects you from infection. Researchers found that drinking green tea increases the number and activity of gamma delta T cells that your body produces. Gamma delta T cells are essentially the first line of defense against infection in your immune system, so producing more and more of these is very good. It was even found that people who drank six cups of tea a day had a 15-fold increase in immune cell production in just a week. So the difference that tea makes in immune function is very large. This is why the studies we went over earlier found that green tea is so good for fighting viruses and infections. It causes such a large increase in immune function, so you're able to fight off infections way better than before. So how does green tea do this, though? Basically, when your body senses a tumor cell, bacteria, or virus, it triggers a response from your immune system to produce cells to fight off that bad thing. However, plant products like fruits, veggies, and of course tea share a molecular pattern with those bad things I mentioned earlier, so when you eat fruits, veggies, and tea, your body has that same trigger reaction even though what you're eating is actually not bad for you. So if you eat fruits, nuts, and tea, fruits, veggies, and tea every day, your body will constantly be triggering the immune system response and constantly be stacking up immune cells like the gamma delta T cells. So if there is a real infection or virus, your body will be super ready to get rid of it before it becomes any real issue. This is why fruits, vegetables, and tea make people resistant to viruses and infections. They constantly trigger the immune system so it's ready for any real threats that need to be fought off. It's like a constant practice for your immune system. So bottom line here is to make sure you keep eating your fruits and veggies every day because they are a lot healthier for you than you know. You need to eat them to keep your immune system ready for attack so you can stay healthy and prevent viruses like the corona from getting into your system and causing a problem. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like the video, subscribe with the bell turned on, and leave a comment below with any questions or thoughts you might have. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.